Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. We're up here in the loft today and what we're doing today is fixing mistakes from yesterday. So what we got going on is we have this sweet stair opening cut in the floor behind me. And we got a stair stringer lined up against the wall right there. If you go down those stairs right now, you are going to whack your head on a floor joist. So what we're gonna do is cut out two more floor joists to give us a little bit more overhead. This really sucks because I wish I would have measured everything and figured it right the first time and now I'm just taking apart all the stuff that I already put back together and redoing it and we are going to have to eat the 2x10 that we had to purchase to cut this because we had to go buy two new ones because those are now too short. So it is what it is. Hopefully we can get it all buttoned up this time. So as you can see behind me, we got the opening cut bigger. It actually looks more correct now. Um, what I didn't account for was that the two by 10 comes down 10 or nine and a half inches. So you'd whack your head on it. So I opened it up two more joists, which equates to two feet. It looks more correct. This stringer looks correct as well. Um, so I think we're gonna start putting these stairs together. So we're going with four stringers total. We're making these things just under four feet wide, like literally an eighth inch under four feet wide. And I think that's all there is to it. We're just gonna string them up. I don't have actual stair hangers yet. I need to get those. Um, but we're just gonna screw these ones up and see how they look.
So we ended up using a lot of lumber on these stairs. It turned out really nice. I'm happy with the way it looks. Lots of lumber, lots of screws. It's kind of rustic looking. I think we're gonna finish it with like a polyurethane finish to just kind of deepen the like color of it. And uh, that'll kind of give it like a durable finish too, high traffic finish. So it should last us for a long time. Everything worked out pretty good as far as having to recut everything and like the angle of the stringers and the steps and the height of the steps. All the heights are pretty much spot on. The angle isn't too steep. For a total, I believe there's 13 steps, so it's not too bad. Each tread has three two by fours on it. Um, so that makes for a total of 10 and a half inches. And I think code is either 10 and a half or 10, I'm not positive. Um, but we got 10 and a half inches of tread on these so far. That is going to be dumbed down to 10 and a 10 inches. Um, we're going to put a backer board. You can see through these stairs here. So we're going to put a backer board on there. That's a half inch thick. Um, so we are going to do that. Like I said earlier, they are just under four feet wide and I'm talking like an eighth inch under four feet. Um, the whole way up, it was pretty consistent. So that worked out perfectly. We did a total of four stringers just for stability and weight purposes. We're going to be having some heavy items go up and down this, you know, appliances, the wood stove. Um, so we want to just have a nice, solid, beefy set of stairs. As far as fasteners goes, we directly screwed these things to all this lumber here in every way possible that we can. We got screws going sideways. We got screws coming straight into these things. So we got a lot of fasteners there. And then we went with a lot of those brackets that you can see behind me there. And those brackets are leftover brackets from the floor joists. So they're not specifically stair brackets, but they're going to work for what we need them to. They're pretty strong. And then you can also see that I got a couple hurricane straps in there. And that's, again, just more support. I think these things are pretty strong. Like I said, we have them directly screwed to every piece of lumber in every direction possible along with these straps. So I think it's going to hold up pretty tight. So now that we got some proper access getting up into our loft here, we're finally going to start moving some stuff in. And I think the first order of business is to get the wood stove in up here. So that's what I'm going to start on right now. We got to get a hearth pad built and we got to get the stove up here. That's going to be a task. So you guys should let me know in the comments down below how you would get the wood stove up here. Right now we got a set of stairs and a wood stove at the bottom. What would you do to get it up here? If you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below and we'll catch you in the next video.